Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How y'all doing today? Well, I have driven into a major town. Closest one to where I'm at takes uh, hour and a half or so to get down here and uh, long story short I have purchased another door for the wolf wolf wagon and I'll get into that in a minute but uh, we've agreed to meet here at the Home Depot um, while I'm waiting on them they've got some sheds I thought I might look at and take you with me the reason that I've got another door for the Wolf Wolf Wagon is because when I purchased this 91, I've never shown it on the channel. I've always been able to look around it. It did have a damaged passenger front door on it. And uh, I was finally able to find one. This is one of the reasons I got such a good deal on this little sidekick. The rest of the body's pretty straight, but this door took a bump. And it was repaired at home, obviously. And I thought about trying to fix it, but uh, I was able to find another one. Same color, same everything, but instead of sidekick, it says tracker. And this door right here, it took a little bit of a bump. Now, that doesn't bother me so bad. I believe I can get 90% plus uh, straightened when I start working on this one. So I'm just gonna replace the whole door while we're here the only one that really interests me is this little tough shed right here seven thousand dollars for this display ouch now I like what they call this D-log D, D log I like that a lot but um, I'm looking for this style but maybe just a little bit bigger I wonder if it's open 7,000 is a little high for this size but I can make it work I'm guessing this is a 10 by 16 Interlocking floor, galvanized steel floor joists, blah, 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 blah. Two before stud wall framing on 16 inch center. Couple windows. Pretty simple, but that's exactly what I want. It's simple. What I want to do is I want to put a a full or twin bed here in the corner, maybe a queen. Maybe like a little kitchen cabinet right here with a, a sink. And uh, I want to put a little wood stove in the corner. Now I can make this work. But it's still overpriced about what did I say it was? 7,000 or 7,500? This building should be 5,500 with tax at a couple other places I've looked at. They're just out of stock on them. I'm not in a hurry. But yeah, I like it. How much was it again? 7,050. Free delivery within 30 miles. You still got to put tax on that. Nice little cabin though, right? This one here is $33.49. Take these doors off right here and put up uh, some French doors maybe or a sliding glass door. Well, this has a loft in it. Two four 
used uh, the 16 center. It's built the same way. Do a lot with this. For sure. For sure. So yeah, I'm just looking for a dry cabin. Very, very simple. Twenty-seven forty-nine. Will it be light? Will it be the windows up here? What I want to do, I want to get spray foam insulation going between these studs and under the floor. Where I'm at, I won't need air conditioning, but I will need heat, a lot of snow. Kinda neat. So like I said, one of the reasons I got the Wolf Wolf Wagon as cheap as I did, got it for either 24 or 2500, but that included, uh, I negotiated with the guy that had it, mechanic, had bought it from the old man that had it, a uh, set of uh, front and new brakes, start over brakes new front and rear and put a, a new uh, valve cover gasket on it so all that for the wolf wolf wagon for 24 2500 yeah and uh you know the door is not bad it's just the rest of it's so nice why not fix it i was able to find the door for 25 dollars <laughs> guy sent me pictures of it and everything found them on craigslist i just had to pay shipping to get it here but uh, to me, it's worth it. And I won't have to do paint and body work on it. I won't have to repaint it. You know, it's 30 year old paint. So the gloss and color is never going to match. But I'm hoping, since the other one's got factory paint on it, it looks pretty good, I can just stick it on there and go. So it'll be a Suzuki Sidekick Tracker. I call it a tracker all the time anyway, same thing. Found this door to the tracker, sidekick, wolf wolf wagon. Gosh, I found it two months ago, at least. It was in Riverside, California. And uh, my cousin, he's friends with a lot of uh, horse show people and horse people. And he's got friends that take horses out there. We just never could line nothing up. So I'm dealing with a company called U-Ship. Never have used anything like that before. And people, you, you put uh, what you need out on their website and people send in bids what they'll deliver it for. And uh, rest my hand. And I finally found somebody that was reasonable, reasonable enough. And um, they picked it up a couple weeks ago. So they, you know, they pick up pack, they pick up objects and packages and everything on the way, then they come back across and deliver them. So I wasn't in a big hurry for it. But I've been having some trouble with this shipper. But we're gonna stay positive. Um, he didn't want to deliver to the town I'm in. He told me I was gonna to have to meet him 60 to 100 miles away and I refused. Got in touch with uh, you ship. So anyway, he's sending, he put it on somebody else's truck and paying them to deliver it to me. Just business. I hope he hadn't damaged my door. But I got pictures of the door before and after. It was uh, the owner that had it, wrapped it up in cardboard. See, I'll cross your fingers for me. And I'm not dealing with a guy I've had trouble with, it be an all new person. So I'm gonna hope for the best. Oh yeah. That's why I don't have the wolf pack with me. And I took out my uh, tri-fold mattress right here so I have room to put the door. I guess it's going to fit. I hope it's going to fit. If it don't, I'll have to stick it on top of the tent and go get me some straps from Home Depot. <laughs> All right, the door is here. Let's see what we got. Let's see how it survived. I'm going to flip it over, okay? Okay. All right, here's the top side. So... I'm gonna cut the box off and make sure she's not damaged. I got pictures before it was wrapped and when it was wrapped. Oh 
Okay, moment of truth. Okay, hon, y'all did a good job. Did, didn't damage it. Good. <laughs> I mean, I'll say that, didn't you? I only brought a few kind of hands. Didn't, didn't damage the door. Door looks okay. Okay, well, I think that camera was probably bouncing around and all that kind of stuff, trying to cut that box with a dull knife. Um, so, door wasn't damaged. I'm not happy with the shipper. And I have the option to leave negative feedback in a way I think I should. You know, everybody's struggling out here. But I had to get I had to get Yushup involved to make him do the right thing. So he just told me, he says, please leave me positive feedback. I know we have problems, but please leave me positive feedback. Well, that would be dishonest. But I don't have to leave him negative feedback, you know, so I'll, I'll think about it. But I don't want him to do anybody, I don't want him to do anybody else like he did me. We had an agreement. He didn't want to bring it to where I was at. And I've been, oh, my stomach's been, kind of been, I've been kind of knotted up. It's been kind of stuck right here, you know, my my unshaved crawl has been kind of eating at me, fighting my fighting my urge to be angry about it. But kept me cool, smiled, did what I had to do, got the door. That's what's most important. I got the door. So everybody's going to say, "Well, everybody's going to ask." You know, some people get mad when I give prices. If I don't tell you what it costs, I'm going to have I'm gonna have 500 people ask me, well, how much did it cost to ship? Well, it cost me about 250, 260 to have it uh, delivered from door to door, well, basically door to door, from Riverside, California to New Mexico. And that's a lot, really, but I got the door so cheap, I can afford to do it. So there you go. Well, it fit in here pretty good door straight the doors real straight my mirror will fit and this is about the condition of the paint I've got on the truck so it'll blend right in it's got the glass in it I uh, don't have the interior panel on it got the rubber on it I got to get back to my babies I didn't bring them with me because I knew they'd be up on top of this thing if I did so there you go would I use you ship again? Yeah. Would I use this uh, same uh, guy that, that uh, got it? Oh no. Never. Never ever. <coughs> Look how dusty this thing is. Woo! All right. There you go. That's my video. It's real life stuff. My life. Sharing it with you. All right, I'm going to end this little... <laughs> Y'all think this is easy. And as I've said it probably, what, 700 times. I still get tongue-tied, tongue-twisted. I'm going to end this little, little video where? Right here. If y'all say it with me, it might help me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye bye. If I have this door on the woof woof wagon before you know it. Be like it never ever happened. You no, know, you can't. You buying a used vehicle? I hate I hate a dent and messed up paint. But if you're willing to do a little bit of work, you can get a good price, get a good vehicle. And even though it had this dent on this door. I had all those books of receipts and repairs and stuff. One owner knew everything he ever did to it. And that was worth this aggravation.
Bye. Y'all thought the video was over. I did too. I'm sitting here uploading my clips to the to the internet so I can use my online editor. I don't think I'm going to leave that guy a negative feedback or a positive feedback. I'm just not going to leave anything. He wrote me, said his hands were tied. He couldn't get through some kind of checkpoint. wasn't worth his money. Blah blah blah. Excuse after excuse. So I'm just not going to do any harm. I'm not going to help either. I think that's the best way to be. The door got here, it's in good shape. I got a good deal on the door. I didn't like the shipping price, but that's what it took to get it here. So in case you guys were wondering, just let it go, water off the duck's back. I get a little smarter every day. Live and learn, die and forget it all. <laughs> Bye y'all.